Alrighty, welcome to a brand new Fight Night Champion video. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a while since we uh, visited this game. We used to play Fight Night Champion quite a bit in the past. But um, let's see. Uh, today we're going to use Anderson Silva. I, I do have an Anderson Silva creative fighter. He's one of those fighters. Uh, well, his, his likeness, I'd like to say, is one of those in the game that is very, very, very easy to recreate. So we do have an Anderson Silva creative fighter in here. And today, like, the thought process was I was going to fight Julio Cesar Chavez, but he's not in the game. I'm talking about Junior. He's not in the game. Of course, his dad is in the game, but he's in the welterweight division, and he's about five foot seven. The Anderson Silva calf that I have is six foot two in a middleweight division. So, I mean, I suppose that would be interesting considering Anderson Silva just fought his son. What would, what, what would it be like if Anderson Silva were to fight the dad? Maybe that's a video that we're going to revisit if you guys really want to see that. But for today, I kind of want to fight Muhammad Ali. I want to fight Muhammad Ali. And before we actually get to doing that, let's just make sure that we have this thing in the highest difficulty. We're going to go to settings right here. Difficulty, greatest of all time. Number of rounds. We're going to go with eight rounds because that is the amount of rounds that Anderson Silva fought the last time. Everything else, we're going to keep it as is, as default. We're not changing anything. Um, we're not doing bare knuckle. So let's go ahead and, and get this thing going. I want to fight Muhammad Ali. And I'm going to show you guys the Anderson Silva creative fighter that I actually have. Um, it is, he's very... I like to say he is very reasonable. I don't feel like he is overpowered in any sense of the word. If he was a boxer, a professional boxer, I think it's possible that's... Look at all these caps, bro. Cain Velasquez, Cub Swanson, George Xavier, Kimbo Slice, Anthony S Antonio Bigfoot Silva. We got Tupac Shakur. Dude, we've got freaking Anthony Showtime Pettis, Alistair Overeem in here. We've got quite a few creative fighters if you guys would like to see any one of these. But right there, there is Anderson Silva. Let's go right ahead and take a look at Anderson Silva before we jump into this. And I'll make sure that I put a timestamp for those of you that would like to jump right into the video so you don't have to go through this whole this whole intro right here. But um, starting things off, appearance, of course, middle weight, 6'2". Uh, his weight... I mean, see, like the most we can go is 160, and I do want him to look lean. So I'm going to reduce the weight just because I want him to look lean. That's it. No other reason. Uh, let's see here. 82-inch reach. I don't even know if Anderson Silva has an 82-inch reach. I don't think that is correct. I think Anderson Silva might have an 80-inch reach. Before we actually continue, let's make sure that that is correct. I mean, you guys can tell I have not used this creative fighter in a long time. What is Anderson Silva's reach, actually? I know he's 6'2", but what is his reach? I think his reach is like 70, 77 inch reach. Yeah, I figured. So Anderson Silva has got a 77 inch reach. He doesn't have uh, quite the long arms that John Bones Jones has. It's, it's, it's not a, it's not, it's nothing crazy. He's got 77 inch reach. That's reasonable. Um, no tattoos. Take a look at his face a little bit here. This right here looks exactly like Anderson Silva. And like I was saying, I didn't have to do anything special with this calf. I didn't have to morph his face or mold anything. He, he just, he comes just looking like that. And I think, I think that when they were making the game, they did this off the likeness of Anderson Silva. It is just too goddamn uncanny to not be Anderson Silva. Um... His accessories right here. This is the same exact attire that Anderson Silva wore in the fight against uh, Chavez Jr. Uh, black boxing gloves. His shorts. Um, uh, his yellow stripes. Black complete uh, black base, and then his uh, his shoes black just like that. So we're going to keep we're going to keep it the same. He's a southpaw, of course. His boxing style is sniper. Now. We do have quite a few options here that I could go with. Um, there's this one, not this one right here. Not that. Uh, this is textbook. There's this right here, cocky, which of course is him with his hands completely down. And then there's peekaboo. No, not peekaboo. Peekaboo is, is the Mike Tyson. 
Uh, that's the Dominic Cruz. The Mummy, this one right here with his hands outstretched. That's like a like the way John Jones stands occasionally. And you've got Speed. The Speed is very, very similar to the way Roy Jones Jr. would hold his hands. Uh, very loose, very, very loose on the lead on the lead hand to allow him to fire off that jab really quickly. Slickster. Uh, smooth. Smooth is the Muhammad Ali. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go with Smooth for Anderson Silva, but I think the closest one to Anderson Silva is going to be Sniper right here. This is the closest to Anderson Silva right here. I think Anderson Silva stands a little bit upright. Um, he likes to chamber his left hand. He likes to chamber um, his right hand. Well, he's a southpaw. What am I saying? He likes to chamber his left hand and keep that right arm a little bit loose to allow him to flick that jab. Anyways, uh, his blocking style, I did go with the Philly shell. I think that is the closest to Anderson Silva. It's either Philly shell or this one right here. But he does go like... Like he, he has this Win, Win Chun thing going when he's trying to block punches. He doesn't have a conventional block like 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 this one. He doesn't block punches like that at all. So we're going to go with Philly Shell. And then his punch style, I went with Manny Pacquiao. I, I could have gone with Muhammad Ali. But I don't like the way the jab flows with Muhammad Ali. I really don't like it. I'm not saying that it's not technically correct. It is absolutely 100%. I'm going to tell you guys, guys, this Fight Night Champion, out of every single game that I've ever played, Fight Night Champion is the game that gets punching when it comes to animation. Correct. Every single punch animation is technically sound. So they're all technically, technically sound. I just don't like the way the jab flows for Anderson Silva. I don't think he throws his jab like that. So I'm going to go with Manny Pacquiao right here. I think Pacquiao is the closest thing we're going to get to the way Anderson Silva actually throws his punches. Uh, AI tendencies, not really that important right there. Take a look at his stats a little bit. I did reduce the chin and the heart just because we've seen him, you know, stopped and finish lately. But um, his head movement, I kept that as the highest for sure. Um, athleticism, his strength. You know, I don't think Anderson Silva is the strongest guy in the world. Speed, I am being very generous here at 95. Endurance, 92. I think I'm, I've, I'm being pretty generous, including with his reflexes right here. But we don't want him to suck completely. You know what I mean? 86 overall, I think, is reasonable. And now that you guys have seen that, we are going to go right ahead and jump into the fight. Jeez Louise, I just spent how many minutes talking about this? Seven minutes talking about the intro. Oh, my God. Some of you are going to be pissed. Those of you that did not see where I said, I'm going to put an option for you to skip. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to skip right here. And uh, once the fight versus Muhammad Ali starts, I'll be right back. All righty, folks, here we go. Muhammad Ali versus Anderson the Spider Silva. And we are doing this in Manila. The thriller in Manila. <laughs> oh, my God. By the way, the, the, of course, the thriller, and I appreciate everyone pretty much knows this, is the, uh, the third fight between Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, which, of course, is like probably the most popular rivalry in combat sports history, period. It's going to go down as the most popular rivalry in, in all combat sports. All right, folks. Here we go. Muhammad Ali, six for three. 214 pounds, Anderson Silva. Six foot two, water 47. That is hilarious. But dude, that looks great, man. That looks just like Anderson Silva. Now we are going to be outweighed. Ali is going to be longer. He's going to be stronger because he's a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight, and we are a middleweight. But let's see, let's see if we can beat him in eight rounds. We're going to be very clean, as technical as we possibly can. No brawling. Give him the respect he deserves. Stay out the way so that we do not get slept. All right, let's go. There we go. Go ahead. You guys will notice right there, we don't have, we don't have the HUD on and no commentary either. 
body a little bit. Get off me. Alright, Ali will do a very good job of pull countering. Like he does that very well. Let's just keep keep the footwork going. Oh, he got me. Pull that one. Uh-huh, hit him with that jab. Hook to the body. There we go, another one. That jab with the hook to the body. See if we can land some, some UFC 4 combinations on him. Uh-huh. And it's amazing how, like, he's so counter-heavy. counter, counter heavy. Like, if, if you throw, he's going to want to throw right back. The biggest thing that you, re you realize once you try to play this game, like, the one thing that you immediately caught him, the one thing you immediately have to game plan around and try to deal with is the fact that you can't fake. Anytime you press that button, you cannot cancel the strike. You literally can't cancel it. You know, in UFC 4, you can kind of throw, and if you realize you're not in, in range, you cancel it. But in Fight Night, it's just one of the flaws of the game. That the fact that a boxing game, you can't, like right there. Usually, if I'm out of range and I press that button, I can immediately cancel it. Because I'm like, okay, I'm out of range. There we go. Try to pull. Oh, whiff. Uh-oh. Dude, this game feels so weird. Everything about it is just... Okay, got him with the jab. Jab to the body. Another jab to the body. Oh, he got me. Come on. Nope. Tone power. Got him. Okay. I don't know who won that round. He probably did, but we are... I gotta let my hands go. I'm gonna let my... Just relax. Just calm down, bro. Calm down. I'm trying to roleplay Anderson Silva here. Feel me? Relax. There we go. Oh, wow. Whiffed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. He got me. Oh, he is so powerful. Okay, folks. All right. Caught him with that one. Ah, oh, dang. Uh huh. There we go. We're tagging him a little bit now. Another one. We're tagging him up a little bit. There we go. Oh, shoot. To the body. Got to be careful with those body shots. On, you got to pump block in this game. Like, if you just hold block, nice. the nice. shots will just go through. There we go. There we go. And we sat down Muhammad Ali, baby. Boom. Boom. Watch it again. Cross. I mean, I love the way the punches pierce through the the guard that one went through the middle and then the cross went through the side look at this beautiful animation look at this through the middle through the side through the middle through the side and i will caught him 
just gorgeous, man. I'm telling you, man, this the, the, the this game is gorgeous. Just the, the, the punch animations, everything was just done perfectly, bro. Okay. We retaliated. Got him back for that rock that he got. Oh, boy. Careful. And the one thing I f keep forgetting about this game that is if, I f if you throw a punch while not holding block, it takes you longer to recover your block. Like if you, if you, if you throw a cross or whatever and you're not holding block before you threw, it's going to take you longer to block. Like right here. See that? M meanwhile, boom. Got him. It takes longer to, to block if you throw while not holding your block. Mm hmm through the middle. Oh, I thought that would reach him. Woo! Another one. To the body. Come on. Good job. Good job. Good round. We both drew blood, but I think I drew more. <laughs> Don't stand toe to toe with this guy. Yeah, keep your distance. We both right? drew blood, but I think I drew I drew a little bit more blood than he did. Ooh. Ugh. Ah. Of course, you can't really. There's no um. What am I trying to say? There's no uh vulnerability system in this game so like you can't really try to i mean like some shots would do more damage like counter shots clean counter shots would do more damage but like the system here is not like in ufc 4 where it's like you can throw an uppercut catch them go into the body and actually do a lot of damage it doesn't work like that Okay. Yeah, we go. Nice head movement. They see right there. Time the beautiful uppercut really did not do anything to him. Mm-hmm. I like that jab crossed. I mean that jab hook to the body. Pull counter, bro. I'm actually curious if that was like a proper pull counter. Hold on. Circle this right here. Watch that again. Nah. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. Ali, getting tired, bro. There we go. I'm trying. Yeah, that jab. It's amazing how, like, some of these combinations, like, if you try to throw some of the combos that we see in UFC 4, you know, of course, they don't really look the same. Like, that doesn't really look the same as it does in, in the other game. And that's just because, again, the animations are... They're about to start booing right now. Because we're not brawling. I ain't brawling with Muhammad Ali. Are you crazy? Uh-huh. Landed. Woo! Wow. The way that just whiffed. Come on. There we go. We both landed right there. Uh-huh. Land it again. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to throw a lead. I want to throw a lead uppercut followed by a cross. Whiffed. Oh, paid for, paid for that. Paid for that dearly. Paid for that dearly. <laughs> he pulled and hit me with a beautiful... Oh, my God. My stamina is going down. 
Okay, so he won the first round. I won rounds number two and round number three. That's what I thought. Come on. Come on. Oh, careful. That's a nice shot. there. Whew, just blocks everything. I'm very cute like I'm very careful we're trying to throw hooks at him because that's where that's where these that's where these pulls start to come. There we go. Come on. Uppercut did nothing. Another one. Come on, buddy. Nothing. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ali, you getting tired? Nothing. See now I'm now I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with throwing hooks and uppercuts. Nothing there. Because he's slowly, he's slowly getting tired now. Another one. Like right there. Get off me, bruh. Nothing there. Uppercut. Okay. Got him. To the body. Yeah, baby. Missed. Ali. You're gassing, bro. You are getting tired, brother. You are getting tired. Another one. Woo, look at him. The way he stumbles back. Nice work, kid. There we go. Good job in that round. I don't know why his corner is telling him good round. He did not do a good job in that round whatsoever. He was whiffing. Double up on that one. Keep moving around the ring. Get on your bike. Get on your bike. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, I was trying to trying to get fancy a little bit and he caught me. What? That an something? I like that jab. That that UFC four nothing there. Jab to the body. Lead hook to the head. There it is. <laughs> Wow, it just completely missed. Left here. Careful. Okay, let me see if I can see if I can start getting more aggressive now. Come on, baby. Some inside fighting now. Well, that's really not Anderson Silva's style, so I should stop. Should probably stop. Silva would not do that. He would just take his time. Even if even if he 
even if it looks like he's got the fight in the bag, he will take his time. If he gets the finish, he gets the finish. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I feel like I feel like a good boxing game is gonna be like this game in my opinion is like if you play like I'm not good at this game I really am not I, I don't for one I don't play it <laughs> I do not play it often and even when I did I wasn't I wasn't very good um I'm only saying that to say like if you if you see like, the the good players in this game really really good players like what it takes to be very good at this game is a, it's a lot it's a lot more ah, come on bro it's harder to get very good at this game than it is to get good at ufc 4 because it's boxing a lot of times when a video game even in real life honestly it's like just because it's so it's a very limited art there's not a lot of places to run and this is what i say a lot of times when people kind of discredit boxing completely like freak let's just put it this way i think mixed martial arts a mixed martial arts fighter is a better fighter than a boxer 100 percent, because you have more tools in your arsenal whoever has more tools generally speaking is going to have more ways to win but when you're fighting under a limited rule set and you have to fight under that limited rule set you're gonna have to be that much better. Like for example, if you and your opponent can only jab, right? And that's all you you guys can only do. The fight is just, it's a jab fest. All you can do is jab. Then whoever is gonna win has to have the highest level jab in history. And that's how it is with boxing and jujitsu and karate and Muay Thai. Anytime there's a limited art, and you can't like you like in boxing for example if you're getting your ass whooped on the feet you can't hide you can't clench and, and take them down and you know wrestle and try to use jujitsu you're you're stuck if you can't box if you can't punch if you can't move your head you're stuck you're gonna have to deal with that shit on the feet until you're completely trashed unlike mma where if you're striking with someone and they're better than you on the feet you can say, you know what, I'm done with this shit. I'm not, I'm not striking with you anymore. I'm taking your ass down. Yes, that makes it, um, that makes it more effective, but it doesn't necessarily make it harder. If that makes any sense, what I'm saying, like it's, it's a lot harder to become an expert at one thing as opposed to being a jack of all trades. There we go. Hit him with that jab, jab, boom. So someone like Floyd Mayweather, for example, in my opinion, a lot of you, a lot of people will disagree with this. But honestly, if you disagree, it's just because you're not, you're not listening to what the fuck I'm saying. Again, someone like Floyd Mayweather is not a better fighter than mixed martial arts fighters. He's not. He's not. A lot of MMA fighters will beat the bejesus out of him, even in his prime. But what he accomplished in boxing. To an extent is more difficult to do that against other high-level boxers in a very limited art like you you're gonna have to be so much better than the rest of them to be able to beat them with just your hands meanwhile they're all also very good with just your hands and you see the same thing in in a sport like jujitsu like come on so i'm only saying all this to say Every single martial arts has its place. It really does. They all deserve their respect. So like, oh, Ali's about to die. There we go. Woo! Oh my goodness. Dude, we just pieced them up right there, bro. We just absolutely pieced them up right there. Wham! Beautiful left hand. And I think this is going to do it. I do not think he's going to be able to survive this. I can't imagine a situation where he survives this. I think... Oh my god, he's standing back up. Look at him standing back up. Look at him standing back up like Hulk Hogan. There we go, brother. That's it, though. You're getting finished in this round. Come on. Ah, 
Ali. This is it. These shots are bleeding through now. <laughs> How you like that? Woo! Woo! That was gorgeous. Uppercut, step back. Hit him with that beautiful. Watch it again. Uppercut, pull back. Boom! Hit him with that beautiful cross over the top. Beautiful throw on throw. And that's gonna do it. That does it, brother. That does it. You are not surviving this one, bro. You are absolutely not surviving this one. It's over. It is over. All right. Yeah, baby. Muhammad Ali falls to the spider. He got stung. And he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't withstand it. All right, folks. That's going to do it. This video is going to be a long one for those of you that really want to watch long videos. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little bit over 30 minutes. So enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content and you would like to see more, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And um, I will see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out.